I have another block for you. This one's a fun one. This one uses, um, these are, these are slipped stitches and you also carry, um, a little strand of yarn over to the front. So I guess they're like elongated, it's an elongated slip stitch gathered pattern. Isn't it cute? I'm calling it bow ties because it looks like little bow ties. This is hot off the presses. It's really not that difficult. What is difficult about this block are the instructions. I got this pattern from that old book that I found of my mother's that has the, um, you know, the, the, the little sampler Afghan. Um, the instructions are kind of outdated from how we describe things today. So with a little trial and error, I came up with um, this method. Let me put you a little bit closer. Hopefully that's not too close. And what you're going to be doing, I'll show you. I'll, I'll walk you through it. But we are going to bring our yarn forward when we're knitting. And that's abbreviated W-Y-I-F, with yarn in front. And if you bring it to the back, when it should be in the front, that's with yarn in back. So it basically, it's telling you, yes, you're working away, but we want you to hold the yarn in a different place than what you normally do. So we're knitting away, and it says with yarn in front. Okay, so we bring our yarn in front, we slip stitches, and then we bring the yarn to the back again and, and continue on with our knitting. And what that does is it um, it gives you these little, these will be straight across, they'll all be parallel with each other, three little strands. And then on the, so you work that three right side rows, and then the, the following wrong side row, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of flip our work a little bit. We're going to kind of work the front of the work while doing the wrong side row, if that makes any sense. It'll it'll make sense when I show it to you. It's really quite easy and it's, it's fun. It's a nice pattern for little girls. Say you're doing a dress and you have sort of a, a plain bodice and then you have a skirt that's full of these cute little bow ties. Isn't that fun? You know, or, or it could be a little um, summer top for a girl or, you know. The only thing is that sometimes, you know, kids can kind of catch their finger in these. That's the only thing, but, you know. So this one is a fun one. It's, um, it's what's known as a creative stitch. So it's not one of those that you're going to do all the time. But if you're looking for something creative, something that's sort of a showstopper, choose a pattern like this and you won't be sorry. So come over to the overhead and I'll show you how to do this. Here we are. Isn't this cool? It's really not too hard. You can see where I've got these loops. They're just kind of hanging there and I've got two. We need to do the third loop in this little section. So. We're going to knit one, we're going to bring our yarn to the front, and slipping purlwise, one, two, three, four, five. Now this is, this is one of the, the first of the tricky parts. We don't want to have this really tight. We want it to be comfortably loose, so kind of spread your stitches apart so that it's, it's nice and comfortable in there. And then we knit five. And then we repeat that again. And you see on the alternate pattern rows, it's right there. So it's a, it's a very easy pattern. It's just understanding the directions that's, that's going to um, be the, the challenge in this. This is the right side of the work. We want these loops to just kind of hang you can slip them one at a time, like that. Or if you, if, you, if you feel like you're up for it, you can kind of slip them all in one fell swoop. 
it really doesn't matter. It's easier to count them. You have less of a chance of losing something. We knit five, and then we end with a knit one. Now, wrong side row. We are going to knit our edge stitch. Let me see where I am. And then we are going to purl seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if we peek to the front, we'll see we're, we're right there in the middle. We're not in the middle. There's two stitches on this side and three on that side, but we're working this middle stitch. What we want to do is we want to bring our yarn to the front. We want to kind of look at our front. We want to go under these stitches and you can call it a yarn over or I called it knit through the stitches because that's basically what you're doing. And again, don't have it really, really tight. Give it a little bit of, of looseness. Bring our yarn back again to the, to the front. Purl this next stitch. And because we knitted into this loop, we've got an extra stitch now. So we want to bind that off by just carrying it over this purled stitch. And it also kind of locks things in place. So it's kind of doing double duty there. And purl nine. And just to check that you've purled nine, you can count the purls or you can peek on the other side and see that you're, you're where you want to be. Bring the yarn over to the, to the back of the work. It's, it's in the back of the work, but we're flipping our work. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of in the front too. That's why it's confusing to understand the instructions. Loop it over, pull it through. Come back to our wrong side facing us, purl. Pass this stitch over. You see the, the action is just like if we're binding off. So that's why I called it a bind off in the instructions, just in case it wasn't clear. And then we want to knit our nine, and I haven't even been counting. Have any of you been counting? <laughs> Let's see. We want, we want another stitch on there. Bring the yarn over. And on this edge, we want to kind of, you know, utilize our other fingers to hold things steady. Ever so gently. See how I, I'm not really even putting any pressure. I'm, I'm not tugging this. Bring it to the front. Pull this next stitch. Loop it over. The end of our instructions is purl two, knit one. And look at what you've got. You've got these really neat little bow ties. Now, this is another, another piece of it. Do you see how we worked over here and most of the bow tie is kind of crooked? Just slip your knitting needle under and kind of, you know, tease those so that they're more centered. And it'll, you know, it, it'll find its, its correct placement. And there you have it. Now all I'm going to do is basically, I think I'm just about at nine inches. I'm going to bind off these stitches. And then I'm going to go around with my crochet. And we will be done with this cute little bow tie pattern.